hello everyone uh, welcome to my new video today and in this video i'm going to discuss on how to uh, replace missing values in stata using an uh, invitation method so as you know uh, in a data analysis missing value is one of a um, major challenge that uh, we face when we are, uh, we are analyzing the data so when you are dealing with big data then uh, it is good that you instead of deleting the missing values maybe by listwise method pairwise method you need to fix this by uh, using other methods to replace them so if i can um, share something here a uh, document eh? so challenges so from longitudinal data so missing value uh, missing data as you can see uh, this is a um, the most problem, uh, problematic issue as is, is there is no universal accept and inappropriate ones can have negative consequences. So missing in us mechanism, we have three of them. Data can be, um, I have missing values eight are true, missing completely at random. Number two, we have missing at random. Then number three, we have missing not at random. So these are the three mechanisms uh, missingness mechanisms uh, we have in data then now we have uh, the practices for missing data number one is complete case analysis this is per protocol analyzes data only from those participants who whose data throughout the entire study so it's that in this case you assume those uh, cases that um, have missing values you have to exclude them from uh, the analysis the second one we have mutation method intention to treat so this is the uh, one that i'm going to discuss in this uh, video so we have first observation carried forward last observation carried forward simple mean imputation conditional mean imputation and the last three we have multiple imputation so in this video i'm going to discuss uh, on how to apply this uh, multiple imputation to uh, fix the missing values or to replace the missing values now with me i have a data i have a data here um, this is a big data set so it has uh, five observations i mean sorry five variables and uh, six variables and uh, uh, 4192 observations so you can see why we just we're going to use this as our outcome we have x1 x2 x3 so this data if uh, you can just I can just uh, scroll down um, it has some missing values so you can see all of this is just the, the, the missing values so we have a lot of missing uh, uh, value in this data now I will go direct to stata and uh, import the data so I have here the command for importing uh, uh, for importing for importing um, data from CSV file to to stata so this is the the command for that so i have to execute execute this good so this is the data so finally i have the data in uh, stata as you can see we have id y x1 x2 x3 uh, x4 uh, all the way so what i'm going to do is uh, first uh, in stata for you to identify the missing values the missing values are identified by a dot as you can see we have some dot here indicating that this is uh, all these are missing values so if i scroll down all the way you will see there's a place here so you can see that we have a lot of missing values eh, in uh, this in this uh, this variable mostly for x y x1 x2 and x3 now how can we identify the number of missing values per variable in uh, in this data so in this case we use a uh, command by the name mdesk so this comes with uh, a package so we have to install some package for this for you to use this mdesk now if i execute this mdesk uh, this mdesk now um, I'll be able to see good so you can see I have executed this mdesk variable and here is the output now 
you can see this the output I have from variable uh, y1 to x4 the way you can see variable id it does no missing and uh, the total observation this is 4191 and the percentage missing is 00, zero. so it means we don't have um, missing values in this case but when we move to y x1 x2 x3 x4 you can see we have uh, missing values like in y we have 481 that all uh, the total is 4191 the percentage is 11.93 so if you can see if i add up this percent it will be something like uh, 45 percent so this is you see we, we can't assume this kind of uh, missing values maybe we delete them no this is a huge uh, rate eh? so around 45 percent is a big a big uh, percent and we need to fix this now with the um, imputation method so that's how you can be able to tell the missing values per variable in a stator good let us move to the next now we have uh, multiple imputation using multivariate normal distribution so in this we are going to use uh, mi so like in time series analysis or panel data analysis first before you call out the uh, you embark on you proceed with the uh, time series or panel data analysis you have to set your data eta time series you have you to use a uh, ds set uh, time series set uh, also like a uh, panel data you have to use x t set x uh, time series set eh? Now in this case we we have to stay, to set this uh, data to m long so m i stands for uh, multiple uh, imputation so we have to set this so before anything I have to execute the first code uh, I have to execute the the first code which is uh, m uh, m i set m long I have to execute that then uh, the next one is mi register so i have to register my imputed variables so in this case you only indicate you or you only include those variables that contain missing values so like in our case if uh, id was a uh, part of uh, uh, interest a uh, variable of interest we, uh, you see either it, it had no missing value so we will not in include it in this case so y1 x1 all the way to x4 they get the missing value so there are only variables that i'm going to register in this case so i have to, to do that so if you go back to my search window you can see uh, mi i have registered the, the uh, five variables in this case let me go back now the next is to run the imputation method now using multivariate normal distribution mvn so you can see i have imputed so mvn i have included here and now there's this part of add so this add stands for the number of mutation that you need to use in your in your in your case but in most studies in the old method they normally they allow two to ten imputation but uh, recently uh, based on some studies they say that 20 is the the default imputation that you can use in your in your in your study or in your imputation so like in this case i'm going to use 20 instead of 18 okay let me say maybe i have used 18 in this case RC this random seed you can set you can put n in this case so I have to I have to to write I to I write that and execute good so this will take just some minutes or seconds depending on the on the the number of observation that you have in your data set so i guess you can see the it's performing the data augmentation there let me come back here good now there is something i'm going to discuss maybe in the next few minutes the reason as to why like how is it like in r if you want to select the best model there are some criteria like aiz um, that we normally use piz aiz we use to to select the best model now there is that part of k maybe we can set k to 3 k to 5 now also in 
stater how can you know the maybe the um, the appropriate invitation that you can use in your uh, in your in your method so in that case i'm going to introduce you to a package that tells us how many invitation that are we supposed to use in this uh, method in the next few minutes good let us come back here so you can see i have I executed this uh, command and now here is the output excuse the command and here is the output now uh, so you can see i have uh, invitations here 18 added invitation 18 updated zero on the way good now you want to see this is the table for invitation so you can see complete invitation in complete imputed so like why we have 3710 observation in the complete we have a 481 so i have imputed 481 which has given us the total of 4191 x1 the same same so i have imputed the 500 496 so this part the last part is gives us the the observation that we have imputed and there's a formula here complete plus and complete equals to uh, to the total Embedded is a minimum across M. So this is how we can impute the data. So it means now in this case we have embedded our data. So we no longer have the missing values in this data because we have embedded it uh, using the uh, multiple imputation uh, method. Now in our next video, I'm going to show you on how to to come up with the appropriate uh, number of imputations. After which we will be car uh, we will be Moving forward to use uh, to select uh, to come up with how many appropriate invitations that are going to use in this because the type of uh, the number of invitations that I've used here is this just for pirate uh, survey or pirate invitation. Eh? So this this is not the actual. But in the next video, I'm going to introduce you to how how many invitations are you supposed to use in um, in your um, in your method and uh, why. Why are we interested in the number of invitations? Thank you. And before I finish, kindly, if you are new to my YouTube channel, subscribe and share to Chris and everyone. Thank you.